They were so jolly. <laughs> and it seems a great long way to Windhelm. Especially without a horse. Ah. What have I done? Spent so much gold to replace Richard. And uh, the gods have taken the horse almost immediately. They said, how dare you, Brandar? Richard was your friend. You cannot replace your friends. I suppose this is a costly lesson to learn, hmm? Ah. But these elks. They have something for me? Little bit of meat? Get on. Get on. See what happens? Indeed. Oh, some antlers. Yes. I shall use these for a potion. Ah. And what is just this way? A mystery. Ah. It seems some bandits. They do have the garb. Make sure I have my oak flesh ready. And uh, perhaps some sparks, yes? They have not tried this spell out yet. Voltheim Towers. Holy. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. 200? Oh, that is quite a large amount. How, how about 50? That seems a bit better. Oh, thank you so much. Quite kind of you, hmm? Toll Road, hmm. They don't have many of these in Elsewhere, or Morrowind, or uh, Cyrodiil. But perhaps it is uh, something new from Skyrim. Perhaps something the Imperials have, uh, have laid down, hmm? And Brandar does not want a fight, no. No, indeed, if I can avoid it. It seems uh, my oak flesh did no, no use there. Ah. Let us have a, a small sit down on this rock. Perhaps if I see another traveler, I can ask him about the toll road. Ah, quite a beautiful view. I can focus my mind a little more. Yes. Ah. Wonderful. Hmm. Tripwire seems like a nice spell to have. Yes, I will take. And sneak attack. Yes, I think this would be nice. Indeed. Assassin's Blade. Oh. We should find a dagger. Yes. That would be quite nice. Brandar is becoming quite a little sneak. I can tell you this much. Unfortunately, I don't think there are going to be any travelers headed down this way. I also wonder, uh... What is held in the, the, the towers? There's probably a very nice uh, vault of gold somewhere in there. And if they charge me again coming back the other way, I think that I should uh, like to take my gold back. Hmm? But we shall give it some thought. No need to rush things, I think. Hello, Mr. Goat. How fare you? Oh, your friend is dead. I'm so sorry. Oh, your other friend is dead. <laughs> A little too easy. There are many goats here. Hmm. And it's no good for alchemy. Ah. Brendar's made a mistake. I'm sorry, little goat. Here, pet you. Hmm. Sorry if claws are a little bit sharp, huh? 
Hmm. I should have given that some more thought. What's this? Hail, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Indeed. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Oh, hunting brew mead? Ever had a taste of sweet hunting brew? Why, it's only the finest mead outside of Sovngarde. Its sweetness is like a fair maiden's kiss on a starry night. And it's ah. a kick to put a frost troll on his hind quarters. <laughs> <laughs> I Not like enough. this friend. Come, won't you share a drink with me and my companions? Indeed, I shall. I would love to oh, share a drink. Like fine spirits to help raise your, well, your spirits. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. May your adventures and to you. find you fame and fortune. Wonderful. Oh, oh, we're not going to wait for me to drink it. We're just we're just done now. I'm sad. I thought I had made some new friends. Ah, Windhelm this way. My friends, Windhelm is down this way. Should I just follow you for a short time, hmm? Need something? Yes, more mead. <laughs> like a fair maiden's kiss. Ah. I like the thought of this. Hmm. What a wondrous place, I think. Winterhold, White Run, Windhelm this way. Yes. Are you coming to Windhelm? Where have they gone? Are you coming to Windhelm, friends? Help? What do you need? What do you need? Yes, we are all headed to Windhelm, my friends. Well, let me regale you with a story in exchange for the drink, huh? I think you shall like. It is called Fenepan's Mysteries of Mead. One Breton study of the Nord drinking culture. There's a reason I was kicked out of Daggerfall, chased out of Elden Root, and banned from Mornhold. I've tried every variety of intoxicant, wine, ale, and Argonian swill that this world has to offer. I've sampled skooma with Khajiit, leaked an Argonian history, and hunted magical toads with the Bodmer. None of that compares to Nord Mead. There's nothing like it. The purest stuff is made in Nord villages, but we are at war with the Nords and the Breton has no guarantee of surviving a trip like that. Leave that sort of thing to the professionals. There is still hope, however, if you're at, ever at the tavern and there's a cask of Nord Mead, you'd be a fool to pass it up. Mead is made by fermenting honey and water, although a few recipes call for molasses. Sometimes you add grain mash and strain it, but that isn't always necessary. Some of the high elves call it honey wine, but mead needs more than good honey. Every meadery has its own recipes. And after you drink enough mead, you learn the names of the brewmasters who create them. A drunk Nord will gladly punch another in the face over the honor of a good brewmaster. Then again, a drunk Nord will punch anyone for just about anything. <laughs> Every brewmaster has a distinct blend of spices, fruits, sometimes hops, which makes a bitter mead, and that makes some Nords bitter too. I've even heard tales of mead mixed with the blood of heroes, allegedly granting them the words of a poet or skald. I'd like a mead named after me, but I'm not going to bleed for it. An alter Altmer once told me that brewing is the basis of all culture. It's why our ancestors started farming and forming cities. It's what we do when we've got too much wheat and barley and hops and we're sick of farming. The culture of drinking seems to be what keeps most Nords together. Nords must be really sick of farming, because they brew and drink prodigious amounts of mead. Whenever a cask of really good mead is open, Nords gather round because they know that that cask will not last long. But if you don't know how to behave in the Nord drinking culture, you'll end up broke, broken, hungover and helpless. I found this out the hard way. Nords love to drink, but more than that, Nords respect those that can endure adversity. I know that sounds flowery for explaining why two drunk Nords would have a hit-me-hard-in-the-face contest, 
but really that's why their culture celebrates getting drunk. A Nord can respect by consuming more mead than anyone else, just as he's respected for surviving a blizzard or killing a bear with a sharp stick. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Please, why must you interrupt the story? I'm sorry, friends. For this unexpected interruption. Hmm, these couriers, you know. Anyhow. So the first thing you must lo know about Nords is if you want to earn their respect, never turn down a drink. It's a test. If you can't handle the next drink, leave. Otherwise you'll wake up somewhere they find hilarious. But you won't be laughing. Nords also love their skulls. Songs and stories go over well with the drunk audience once they've had enough of the brawling, boasting and throwing axes at each other. The songs are all about how, to, how they're better than anyone else at everything. They've all heard these over and over again, so bring some of your own. They're desperate to hear something new. Anywhere you go, drinking is also a good way to redress a mistake or make an apology. And it's the same with Nords. If you lose a contest, you need to buy a drink. If you make a mistake or offend someone, you need to buy a drink. If you're insulted, stand there and take it. Then you need to buy a drink. You don't have to be the best brawler to survive in a room full of drunken Nords. You can also impress them by being clever or talented, but you'd better be really good. When it's time to take a punch in the face, you'd better be ready for a punch in the face. If you don't like getting punched, there are some things you should never talk about. Like politics, who's the best brewmaster, and who punches the hardest. And never demand to know why someone just punched you in the face. If you want to hear more, buy me a drink the next time I'm in Daggerfall, and I shall tell you a story. Oh my, it seems we've met with a, a little fate. The celebration's gone badly. Oh my goodness. Ah, you killed my friend. Ah. Oh. How could this happen? They were so jolly. <laughs> they gave me mead. I don't even finish my story. <laughs> oh. oh, you bastard. You dirty, dirty bastard. Oh. So much for the reveling, huh, fellows? Ah, a little more mead might make it feel a bit better. Oh my. And that's quite a nice necklace. Oh, I'm still so sad, though. Ah. Oh. Oh. A shame. A great shame. And now the night comes. <sighs> I suppose this is a dangerous land even for those who have lived here for some time. But now the living is over. Ah, do you see this? Is it another cat? These saber cats should not attack the Nords. Maybe it's a bear. Yes. He seems a bit confused by what happens. <laughs> yes, stay just there, huh? Must take my anger out on the the wild Ursa. Hmm. Should like to go across and check on what is in that little cabin, but uh, I don't want to get wet. Hmm. Hello, little wolf. How do you feel about this? Uh. 
The only way that I know to uh, sate my sadness at the moment. It's a bit of bloodlust. Reminds me of that uh, Bosmer fellow. Or was he a Dunmer? The Mer fellow. Who thought he was good enough for sweet Camilla. I should like to go back and v visit my uh, Camilla someday. Hmm. And if anybody else is moving in, they shall be dealt with as well. It is Brandar. Always Brandar. That the women are after. And if they aren't, that's because they don't know it yet. pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight. If you'll excuse me. I will. Where is the, the shrine? To the northeast. I'll mark it on your map. I thank you. God of twilight. Hmm? Suppose it would be a, a good idea to visit it at twilight, no? One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.